Hi, this is Laura GB, and in this video, we're going to look at embedding a paginated report inside a Power BI report. So let's start by having a look at the paginated report first. So here we are in my workspace, and let's go and click on the restaurant daily sales report. So this report has two parameters. It's got a start date. So let's go and put in a start date. Let's go for the 5th of March and let's end it on the 11th of March. So a week's worth of data and we're going to view our report. And there we are. We get six rows. The restaurant's closed one day a week and there is our report sorted. But we want to embed that inside a Power BI report. So let's head over to Power BI Desktop. Here we are in our report. It's connected to the same data, so it's relevant. And we've got a chart in here to select a, a week, weekly sales. We've also got two measures. One shows you a start date. And the other one shows you an end date. So we've got the beginning and end of the date range of our calendar table. OK, and if we have a quick look, just to clarify, our calendar table date is connected to our orders. So we've got our measures ready and now we are going to insert our paginated report. Now, I am working on the latest version of Power BI when this was recorded, which is the March version. So a few things have changed if you're on an older version of Power BI. So I'm going to click on the home ribbon on the insert visuals here and we can see they're all categorized. And there we are. That one there is a paginated report. Looks like a page. And there you are. It's put it's put the page in. The first thing we need to do is to add some data. So we're going to add our two measures. So let's go and find those. So we have got a start date and we have got an end date. OK, so we've added in those two measures. Now, when we click connect to a report. It'll show me all the paginated reports that I've got access to. OK, and it'll show you the workspace and it'll show you the name of the report. So I'm going to pick that one, Restaurant Daily Sales, in my hat full of data. And then the, the button says set parameters down here on the right. And here we are, we've got our two parameters. So it's asking you for the parameter start date, what Power BI field are you going to pick? Now, if you haven't added your uh, measures yet, you could have, add them over on the right hand side. But we're going to just go in here and I have named them the same things just to make life easy. And there we go. If, if my parameters had defaults, you'd have, you'd have that tick box across there. But I haven't in this case. And then we're going to go to see report. Give it a moment. And there we are. It's got the report in there. OK. And it's going from um, it's going for the whole of 2023. So beginning of January, right up to the end of December, because that's what my calendar min and max are. I can now click on a bar in here to filter. But rather than automatically filter, you get this apply changes. And as soon as I click that apply changes, there we are, we get our filtered data. Now, if you didn't want that to require you to press to press that bu extra button, you can on the um, add or remove visual elements here, the formatting button, the new formatting button, there we are, there's our auto apply filters. And now whenever I click on a column, let's just click away to get rid of it, to make it get, get rid of that box for a second. But now I can click into here and it will auto filter. So some of the other options that I've got, OK, we'll publish it in a moment and show you what that looks like. But just before we get there, let's go and have a look at some other options. If I click on the formatting button again and go to more options over here on the right now, you can see the parts there. 
and there we can see our auto apply filters we can turn it off there but if we have a look at some of the other options here so under export we've got all the formats that can be exported we'll demo that in a second but we can pick which ones we could turn off to turn around and say well i only want you to come up with pdf i don't want you to be going and doing excel csv and all those things the toolbar we can turn elements of it on and off so we could turn off the page navigation if we know it's going to be a one page report maybe or we can hide the param we can hide the parameters from the user etc um, we might want to put that in or we might not want to put that in I, I we're giving measures so i don't think we need it this time we can also choose this gray bar at the top is the toolbar we can choose whether it's the top or at the bottom and we can also actually just turn that toolbar off if we just want it to look like part of the report and they can't export it at all so i think we are ready to so let's remove that filter and we're ready to publish so let's quickly publish this report back up to our hatful of data workspace and head back to that workspace and let's open that report and there you are we get the seven to one rows i can click on a column and it filters it straight away and now we can go and click on the export and see all the export formats that we've been allowed to do so let's check it out and let's put it out as a powerpoint and there we are we've got a powerpoint file up there and let's just click open file to take a quick look And there we are, we've got our report, we've got the parts of our report have come straight through. That works, it's a PowerPoint. So this was embedding a paginated report inside a Power BI report. My name's Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.